Did you know that health product providers are required to be responsible for every marketing activity? This is a story about Albert. Albert is currently suffering from acute gastritis and is undergoing treatment at a private hospital. Several months earlier, the hospital had collaborated with False Pharma as the main supplier of ulcer drugs. However, there is something wrong with the marketing procedure. Linda, who works as a medical representative from False Pharma, has a strategy to increase sales of ulcer drugs by promising shopping vouchers, lavish holidays package abroad with family, and other prizes for every doctor, admin, and pharmacist who prescribes this clinically untested drug to her patients. Another problem is that Linda did not explain in detail to doctors about the side effects of the drug for sufferers with certain conditions. With this offer, many doctors are interested in accepting the offer and racing to prescribe the drug unobjectively based on medical conditions for the patient without considering the side effects which may cause to patients. This condition caused Albert to use the drug according to the prescription he received from the doctor. Instead of feeling better, Albert's condition worsened by taking the drug from False Pharma. This makes Albert's family concerned and demands the doctor, hospital and drug providers to be responsible for Albert's condition. After being tried in court, the hospital and False Pharma were finally found guilty and were subject to severe punishment and revocation of their operating license, including revocation of the related doctor's license. This incident should not have happened if the marketing of products by business actors was carried out properly and correctly, as well as the implementation of integrity and medical independence of doctors in prescribing drugs in accordance with the patient's medical condition, so that Albert and other patients could receive accurate information regarding the quality of drugs best. Integrity and transparency are needed when promoting health products. With strong integrity, providers, hospitals and health workers should prioritize providing medicinal products with high quality and quality that are suitable for the patient's medical condition rather than prioritizing solely business profits so that the medicinal product can be beneficial for patient's health. In addition, if a product requires special training or handling, the provider is required to explain the terms or procedures for using the product to the hospital or the doctor who uses it. The public can also find out as much information as possible and play an active role in reporting any practices that are not in accordance with integrity and transparency in the healthcare sector to the authority. If everything is done properly, then what happened to Albert will not happen not only Albert, millions of other people can also be saved through implementation of integrity and transparency in the healthcare sector.